I remember at one point, uh, remember when uh, Gunsmoke was canceled? And I said, oh no! The word was, if you didn't do a Gunsmoke, you weren't going anywhere. Because anybody who was anybody, after what, 22 years? Did a gun smoke eventually, then became a star. Maybe, like Burt Reynolds, Robert Redford, a whole bunch of people. If you didn't do a gun smoke, and I said, no, it's gone. Nobody ever cast me in a Western. And I got a call. It was with William Morris at the time. And the young, you know, you have these anonymous agents. You don't know who they are. You have one guy you start with, or a woman, and that's the one you talk to most frequently. He says, they want you for a gun smoke. I said, they do. And it was the first time, the only time, I worked with anybody with whom I then worked in the series, Charles Hayde. I played a bad guy, the bad guy, really rotten guy, I loved it. I read it and said, ooh, oh, that's good. Who cast me? Why did they cast me? Why am I being given this role? I don't know. Don't ask stupid questions, just do it. And I got to do a handlebar mustache, and uh, he was my henchman. He was the, you know, the, 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 the right-hand guy. You know, he did a lot of the dirty work, but I did the shooting. And we were in a jail cell together, and I remember sitting there, and uh, they'd say, action, and there was Mr. Travanti here on the set now, we'd be sitting close by, and I'd go in, and Charlie would say to me, ah, I see what you do now. Another actor did that to me on uh, Lost in Space, he said the same thing. He said, yeah, you just sit there and you're talking to everybody and all of a sudden they say, Travanti, you go out and they say, action, and the light goes on. I said, oh, really? Is that what I do, Charlie? And it was a good episode. It was really good. And uh, I said, well, okay. Oh, whew, I did a gun smoke. So maybe I'll make it someday. That's 1970, I can come close, 74 or 5. Still five years to the first meeting for the series, and six years, five and a half years, till it actually gets on the air. And a few weeks later, I get another call, another agent's voice. They want you for a gun smoke. I said, oh, I just did one. I know. I said, oh, but same season. He said, no. Oh, there was such loud complaints when they canceled it that they had to rescind the decision. So they were quickly shooting episodes very fast to go into the next season before they would be canceled. So they had been resurrected. That's how I got to do the first one. And then, so I went from none to two. I said, oh, is that a sign? Is that an omen from like the cosmos? The gods, you know, <laughs> is, are we getting, is this a vote of confidence from the cosmos? Really? You know, I thought, hmm, none, oh dear, oh darn, two, one, and then two. So I did, this one I played, the screw up, future son-in-law son of Lee Jacob, who was darling, and it was, ah, Julie Cobb, his daughter, played my fiance. And I accidentally start the fire that burns down the barn and or the stable, and it's off awful, and I feel awful, and I did a, a wimp. <laughs> I went from mm -hmm, the real stone cold killer to the wimp. So I'm, I'm, I've always been an actor. 